This first coin here is a 1999 Philadelphia minted Jefferson nickel that has a brockage error taking place here on the obverse of the coin, which is the front of the coin. So this error is pretty self-explanatory. You can see it and spot it in your pocket change very quickly. It's not one of those errors that you have to put underneath a microscope to see, but this coin here sold for over $85. So nothing too valuable, but still an $85 coin. Now this next coin is actually a capped die error. So the obverse, the front of the coin has been struck through a capped die. I've actually found one of these coins before in a coin roll from the bank, but this here is a 1999 P, and we can see the front design there, how it has been struck through a capped die. Now here on the reverse, the reverse looks perfectly okay, and this coin here sold for over $185. Next up is another Jefferson nickel. Again, this one here is a pretty, uh, you know, easy error to spot in your pocket change. If you, you would definitely notice something like this, but you could think that someone just chopped off a side of the coin. However, this is actually a clipped planchet here. This coin here sold for over $185 as well. Moving right along, now this one is a 1999 D Denver minted Jefferson nickel. So we got the D mint mark there. And this one doesn't have any types of errors or anything. This coin is solely valuable because of the high grade. So if you're not familiar with coin grading, I have a whole video on that. Actually a few videos. Just type in Couch Collectibles Coin Grading on YouTube and you'll find those videos. So because of the high grade, this nickel here sold for over $320. Next up, one of my favorite types of coins. These coins can be super valuable coins. It is the no dated Jefferson nickel that has been struck on a 1999 Philadelphia minted Roosevelt dime. So you can see here on the front where the Roosevelt dime design is on top of Washington's head. You see the one dime there on the left. And then here on the other side, you see Roosevelt's head going through the design of the Jefferson nickel reverse. So it's very cool. These are the types of coins that I am searching for the most in my pocket change. I really, really want to find one. And this coin here sold for over $5,000. 5000 thousand US dollars for this coin. Moving on to another 1990p. This is the five cent coin that was struck 90% off center and it is a mated pair. So we got this part of the coin and this part of the coin. So very cool. These coins sold for over $200. Next up is a 1999 Jefferson nickel that has the obverse indent and we can see that the whole obverse design is gone because of that and then here on the reverse you can see uh, most of the design of the Jefferson nickel. Now this coin here sold for a little over $100 as well. Moving on to another brockage error. This is pretty sweet. I love these coins as well, but uh, people will probably most likely pick these out of pocket change fairly quickly. So if you find one, you're very, very lucky. This coin here sold for over $180. Next up is a very simple type of error to look for. It's uh, very noticeable. It's just an off-center error. You can look for this on just about any type of coin. There are a lot of off-center errors out there to be found. This 1999 Jefferson nickel sold for over $35. So nothing too much, uh, a very valuable coin, but still a $35 coin. I personally would keep it for my coin collection. I wouldn't sell it if I found it, but if I find a $5,000 coin, I would probably sell it just to buy more coins with it. All right, 1999P high graded version of the Jefferson nickel. Now this one doesn't have any types of errors. It's just a high graded coin and this coin sold for over $215. Next up is a 1999, another brockage error taking place here. This coin here sold for over $50, so nothing crazy again, but still a $50 coin. Now for the 1999S, this is the proof Jefferson nickel, and it is graded at a proof 70, so it has a perfect grade. That means it's in, uh, well, it cannot be in no better condition that it's in. It's at a perfect grade pretty much, so this coin here sold for over $135. 
Hey guys, don't forget to go check out all the other videos on my channel. Subscribe in the middle, and until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.